Hi there, my name is Joss. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume. Today, I'm really excited to start my perfume collection video series. So I haven't done a perfume collection overview in a long time. I will link my previous videos up in the cards for you if you wanna check them out. I just thought this was a good way to group my fragrances. So I'm gonna be doing them by season. I'm not gonna go in any particular order and I am gonna be talking about my full bottles. I probably will talk about a few travel sprays just because I think they're noteworthy or I love them or it's a house that I really adore. So I will throw in a few travel sprays, but for the most part, this is gonna be full bottles only. I'm not gonna talk about samples. I do have a lot of samples too. And I'm not gonna be talking about body mists. Like I have a large collection of Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret body mists. I'm not gonna be including those. I'm also gonna be including some that are actually from my husband's collection, but I wear occasionally. So I will be talking about some of those too. And these are gonna be in no particular order. And so it's my summer collection. So I love a good summer fragrance. Um, I live in a very cold climate. So summer is a little bit brief here, but but I love the whole vibe of summer fragrances. So it's a little bit sad to be saying goodbye to summer, even though I love fall. Fall is my favorite season. And if you wanna check out my fall edition, I'll put it up in the cards for you. And that's kind of a lengthy one. This is probably gonna be a lengthy one too, not quite as long as the fall video, but we're jumping right in. So starting with Mancera Coco Vanille. So I actually think this is a good one for year round. I'm putting it in summer because it's coconut and coconut is quintessentially summer. So I love this one. It's a warm vanilla. It's um, warm coconut vanilla. It's just stunning and lovely and very cozy and comforting and beautiful really any time of year. This is Erin Water Lily Sun. This is a gorgeous classy floral. It's just a beautiful, bright kind of white floral with just the right amount of sweetness. That's what I love about this one is it's like, it's not too sweet, but it's also not too dry. So it's a very beautiful fragrance. I got this one with my Sephora points. Otherwise I probably wouldn't buy one from Erin because Erin's a little bit pricey for a de designer brand, but I really like this one. I think it's beautiful. I think the bottle is quite stunning and I really enjoy this. This one I've talked about quite a bit lately. This is Fineapple from Gallagher. I love this. It's got green apple. It, I featured it in my Apple video recently and pineapple, and other notes, it's just fresh, invigorating, beautiful, fun, it's bright, it's just, it's fabulous. So I love pineapple. From Nikolai, this is Cap Neroli. This is a beautiful Neroli fragrance. So I love the note of Neroli. It's a white flower, it's kind of a beachy, it's got kind of a beachy vibe to it and it's it's very quintessentially summer too. So um, Cap Neroli is a really good one. They were having a really good deal on fragrance buy on these little uh, Nikolai perfumes and I really enjoy this one. My only full bottle of Bond is Fire Island. This is like extreme sunscreen. It's really pretty. It's really good smelling sunscreen. So you know there's like the cheapy sunscreens and then there's like the bougie sunscreens. This one's kind of like the bougie sunscreens. I really like it. Um, this was a great deal on fragrance net otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought it because Bond is a little bit out of my price range generally speaking but I do enjoy this and it's very very summery and beachy. This is an angel flanker called Sun Essence Legere, and this one is very, um, very heavy patchouli. It's very citrusy. It actually reminds me of Coco Mademoiselle quite a bit. Um, sadly, this is discontinued. I think it's really nice, and it's a great alternative to Coco Mademoiselle if you love that. So if you love Coco Mademoiselle, you may love this one too. So unfortunately, I don't seem to really reach for this one. I do like it, but I never seem to wear it. So um, I guess that kind of says something, but like I said, I like it. It's a nice fragrance, but I don't know. Another Angel Flanker, this is Angel Au Croissier. This is the 2020 version that has a prominent fig note. Very beautiful, very refreshing. It's still kind of got the angel DNA, um, but it's got that really pretty fig note among other gorgeous notes. And I just gotta, yeah, it's, it's just very juicy and delicious. Very beautiful. This is a gorgeous one. I like the 2019 version too. I think I'm putting that one in the spring video, but anyway, 2020, it's gorgeous. It does pop up on the gray market sites now and then. And if you can find it for a good deal, I definitely recommend it. This is Paris Hilton Dazzle. This is just a very pretty kind of raspberry, super fruity, not very serious. I just have this little one. It comes in like this little one or a giant 4.2 ounce. So I really like this. I layer it with different things. It's just a really nice, bright, easy reach kind of fun fruity fragrance. Again, this is Dazzle from Paris Hilton. 
from Zarco Perfume. This is Pink Molecule. I love this one. It's a super juicy, pungent, um, fruity. It's like, I think it's got pear. It's got a, a bunch of different fruits. So it's really kind of tart and juicy and delicious. Um, this one is gorgeous. This is a Danish niche house. This is the only one I have. I would love to get more from Zarco Perfume, but I really do love their Pink Molecule. I think it's very fun. Then I've got a bunch from Aqua de Joya from Armani. So this is Aqua de Joya, the original. I love the original. I think it's really lovely. It's, it's a gorgeous floral aquatic and it's just this really punchy, beautiful, fruity, but aquatic um just a classic and perfect for summer it's very beautiful and very very much the summer vibes the original i think is it's one of my favorites in the line for sure light de joya is uh another one this is probably my least favorite from the line this one has yellow florals it's very sweet i think i get honeysuckle and some other florals but it's a very sweet floral so it's just not my favorite because of that um I don't mind it, but it's not something that I would probably pick over these other ones. Air de Joya is a really beautiful one. This is like this salty sea air vibe. Reminds me slightly of um, Salt from Ellis Brooklyn. This one is um, really pretty, very beachy and very, just that salty sea air. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous perfume and I really do love air. Ocean de Joya is actually a very citrusy one. I like it, it's nothing super groundbreaking, but it's a very nice citrus fragrance. So that's Ocean de Joya. Finally, we've got Sky de Joya, which is a floral. This one has a lot of peony. It's a very pretty kind of citrusy floral. It's very juicy. It reminds me slightly of Lancome Idole. So it's a very nice fragrance. All in all, I really like the Aqua de Joya line. I think they're some of the best summer fragrances in the designer realm. They're really quite nice and I like the variety that they have. Like you can go for your citrus or your floral aquatic or your salty sea air or your floral or your kind of sweet um, or your kind of peony floral. So they have all these different um, permutations and I think they're really, really a nice line. This is Jo Malone Star Magnolia. This is a really pretty magnolia, very refreshing, very beautiful floral. Not the greatest lasting power, but it's not horrible. And I got this for a good deal on Fragrance Snap. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Because normally I won't pay Jo Malone prices unless I can find a great deal on FragranceNet or one of the gray market sites. But I really like this one. It's quite beautiful. This is Star Magnolia from Jo Malone. This is Paris Hilton Siren. And this is a very beautiful, interesting fragrance. It's kind of a fruity floral. It's got some peach in it. And it's really pretty and refreshing. A little bit ambery, a little bit musky. It's really kind of a nice one. I think this one came out in the early 2000s. And I think it's quite lovely actually. This is Fleur de Corail from Lolita Lempica. This is actually from the L line, even though this smells nothing like L. <laughs> um, L is kind of a chocolatey, rich, interesting, beautiful kind of gourmand fragrance. This one is very summery, very much like neroli and beachy. Flower of Coral, I think is what the translation is in French, but it's a really beautiful, summery, beachy, delicious fragrance. This is Olmsted and Vaux from Fleur, and this is a very gorgeous, aromatic, this is a very refreshing aromatic fragrance that has like, I think juniper berries and some really refreshing kind of herbal notes and it's gender neutral. It's really pretty and um, I love the bottle. I think it's really cool. Estee Lauder, this is Bronze Goddess Eau Fresh. This is a really nice spin on Bronze Goddess, which is kind of a classic. I think they release a slightly different version every year. So I think this is the 2019 version of Eau Fresh and it's, it's called Eau Fresh Skin Scent. It's a musky, really beautiful. It's got some woody notes in the base. It's just a really interesting, gorgeous fragrance. And I got mine at the cosmetic company store um, for a very good deal. And it's a really pretty summer fragrance. Cosmetic company store find. This is DKNY Women. I think this is the summer 2019 version, I believe. It's very citrusy, pretty refreshing. Um, just a really nice kind of easy reach summer fragrance. I think the bottle's kind of fun, um, but yeah. This is from the DKNY Women line. Oh, pin rose here. This one is Merry Maker. This one is really pretty. Kind of reminds me of a Marc Jacobs, potentially could be Marc Jacobs Daisy type fragrance. Um, Lighthearted, fruity floral, very pretty. This is Merry Maker from Pin Rose. The other Pin Rose one I have is Sun Saint, and this is like a shimmer version. Um, 
so I'm not crazy about the shimmer version. I'm not sure why I got this, but it's a really pretty fragrance. It's very coconutty. It's almost in the kind of Santal 33 with sandalwood and coconut. And it's just a really interesting, beautiful beachy fragrance, gender neutral. This is Jennifer Lopez Deseo, another very beautiful beachy fragrance. This one has some really beautiful woody, musky undertones and gives me very gorgeous, salty, beachy vibes. Sadly discontinued. I love the bottle and I think it's a great fragrance. This is Escada Island Kiss. This has a mango note. It's a really nice fruity floral. It's kind of very um, typical Escada type fragrance. Very fun, fruity, lighthearted. Um, that's what Escada fragrances tend to give me. It's a very nice, lighthearted. It gave me a very kind of playful, fruity vibe. And this uh, Island Kiss is a really nice one with a prominent mango note. This is CK1 Summer. This is the 2017 version. It's really pretty. It's got a cucumber note. It's very refreshing, gender neutral, really interesting. Um, I'm not crazy about all these Calvin Klein flankers because it seems like they release so many flankers, especially for like CK1. But this one is really nice. It's really refreshing and great, really beautiful, perfect summer fragrance. From Just Jack, this is a clone house that dupes Tom Ford. This one is called Neroli, and I believe it's a clone for Neroli Portofino. It's a really nice Neroli fragrance, very floral, very pungent, and um, gender neutral, and I think it's kind of a fun bottle. So from Guerlain, this is L'Homme Idel Cologne, and this is a gorgeous, this one's gotten quite a bit of buzz on YouTube, and it's just so pretty. It's refreshing, it's gender neutral, it's marketed to men, it's just such a pretty, refreshing, aromatic, and juicy, delicious fragrance. And again, this is Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne. This one I think is marketed to men. This is Ferrari Bright Neroli. This is a gorgeous Neroli fragrance. I think it's gender neutral. It's very, like, it fits the name perfectly. It's a very bright Neroli. It's a very fun, very easy reach. Perfect for summer. It's just a it's just a stunner, I think. It's very underrated. I think I only paid like $25 for this or something on fragrancebuy.ca. I love it. From Michael Kors, this is Sky Blossom. This is a very beautiful floral fragrance. I really love this one. It's just one of those, it almost smells like it could be Joe Malone. It's just that very classy, elegant, gorgeous floral. It smells like it could be Joe Malone or Aaron, actually. Um, so I did get this one at the cosmetics company store and I think it's gorgeous, actually. Joe Malone and Aaron are both at the cosmetics company store too. So they're all under the uh, Estee Lauder umbrella. So that's why it might remind me of those other houses. But I really like this one. Again, Michael Kors Sky Blossom. One of my favorites for summer, I've talked about this in a lot of videos, is from Anna Mavinci and this is Tudo Azul. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. It's got citruses, rum, brown sugar. It's just a very beachy, beautiful, warm, delicious, fabulous summer fragrance and it's one of those warm fragrances that I think you can really wear year round. It's perfect for summer, but I really have to wear this year round because I love it so much. I can't really put this down for the whole fall and winter season. So Tudo Azul from Anima Vinci, one of my favorites. This is Narciso Ombre. This is like the summer spin on the Narciso line from Narciso Rodriguez. It's gorgeous. So they added some ylang ylang and some other white florals and it's just so pretty. It is just a fabulous fragrance. I love this whole Narciso line. I talked about quite a few of the other ones in my fall video, but the summer version is a stunner and I think the bottle's gorgeous and I really just love this whole line. From Tokyo Milk, this is Age of Aquarius. And this one has notes of bergamot, Iceland moss, white orchid, and willow bark. So it's a very herbaceous, refreshing, somewhat aquatic fragrance. I think it's really pretty and I love these cute little Tokyo milk bottles. I think they're so, so cute. So it's got a little fish bowl on this one and very nice fragrance. From Eccentric Molecules, this is Eccentric 04. This is a very beautiful sandalwood type fragrance. It's mixed with, I believe, Molecule 04 and some other notes. And it's just a very beautiful, gender neutral, woody and slightly um slightly aromatic fragrance i really enjoy eccentric 04. from harajuku lovers this is pop electric g this is very pineapple and coconut and very delicious fruity very fun very lighthearted. very much an easy reach for me in the summer because it's just so fun and fruity it doesn't last super long on me but i really enjoy this one from hermes this is un jardin sur le nil this is a gorgeous Gorgeous grapefruit fragrance. It's got citruses. It's got some really interesting other notes. Like I think there's incense in here. 
So it's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, very gender neutral, not super long lasting, but very gorgeous. And I love this one. I think it's, it's fabulous. It's like the perfect summer fragrance. From Calvin Klein, this is CK Into You. This is the for her version. And this is totally gender neutral in my opinion. It's very sandalwood intensive. It's been compared to fragrance Dubois Santal Complet. And I'm not sure, I haven't smelled that one, but this is a nice fragrance. It's, um, it smells more expensive to me than it is. I don't know that it would, I wouldn't spend hundreds of dollars for this, but it's a really nice fragrance. And like I said, I think it's very gender neutral and just a very nice sandalwood fragrance. From Lair Bellario, this is Accordo Arancio, and this is a really nice orange, orange based fragrance. It, this one actually reminds me of some of the Aqua de Parma um, ones I'm gonna be talking about in a little bit here. It's really pretty citrus, very orangey and very refreshing and gender neutral, nice. From Calvin Klein, this is CK All. This is a really beautiful, refreshing, kind of aromatic, gender neutral, gorgeous fragrance. It's got lots of interesting notes. It's really beautiful, very underrated, I think, and I really enjoy this one. This is Romeo Gigli, and this is a really nice citrus too. It's a really nice, refreshing floral citrus. It's, it's really beautiful and really invigorating. I got this one, I think it was only like $20. It was very cheap, but I think it's it's a really pretty um, gender neutral fragrance and very elegant and kind of like in the vein of Jo Malone and Erin. I know I keep talking about Jo Malone and Erin, but this is kind of in that vein too, that really classy, beautiful floral. So very pretty. I've got a couple from Aqua de Parma. This one is Fico di Amalfi. This one is pretty popular. This one lives on my husband's shelf. He really loves these Aqua de Parma blue Mediterrano fragrances and they're usually very lovely, refreshing citruses. And that's his favorite style of fragrance is a good citrus. And so Fico de Malfi is a very popular one, like I said, and we really like it. And this one is Cedro di Taormina, and I think Cedro might be cedar. I'm not sure, but this one does have more of an ambroxan and kind of woody vibe. It's really pretty, and I think these are gender neutral. I think they're marketed as such. Um, men seem to kind of gravitate towards these more than women, but I think they work for everyone. They're really kind of classy and beautiful. Our one full bottle of Tom Ford, this Costa Azura Aqua. This is a really nice aquatic, kind of your typical blue fragrance, very refreshing, gender neutral, probably leaning a little masculine, but very refreshing, invigorating. It's got a little peppery vibe. It's just a really pretty fragrance. Um, I think I got this one with Ulta points. I probably wouldn't pay full price for this, but it is a nice fragrance. So apparently Calvin Klein makes pretty summery fragrances. So this is CK1. This is a classic. I think this is gorgeous and it was one of the very first unisex marketed fragrances. And this was a special edition bottle, but this is CK1. It's very inexpensive on the gray market sites. It's very classy and beautiful. I think this is a great any occasion fragrance for anyone. And um, I like having it in our collection. This one lives on my husband's shelf, but I wear it occasionally too. I just think it's a really nice fragrance. It's refreshing. It's very people pleasing and beautiful. I think it's still relevant to this day, even though it came out back in the 90s. And it's a really nice classic fragrance. So that wraps up my summer fragrances. Next up will be my winter fragrances. So if you're enjoying this series, please give this a thumbs up. I would love to hear your thoughts. What are your favorite summer fragrances? And um, feel free to give this a thumbs down if you don't like this. I definitely want your feedback. So um, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.